feel paralyzed here and as you can see on black ops 3 yes we have unlocked diamond camo for the shotguns and man a week after release and we've done it it's like whew, and lay back now we're all sorted but i'm going to show you what it looks like and the fastest way to unlock it for yourself so the first two shotguns you should be looking to unlock is the krm 262 and the argus they're both pretty similar in the fact that you need one shot one kills as your first stage of challenges so the first stage is get 100 one shot one kills um, to then move to the next one where they've got the same again so the class that you're going to want to be using to get the one shot one kills is practically the same for both and you need to max your level so that you can get rapid fire and long barrel which are both really really important to use with your class and I've also decided to go fast mags just so that you can reload and just stay in the action and get as many kills as you possibly can because you really need to be up in their face with both of these. Apart from the Argus, um, I'm going to have another review coming out because I really love this shotgun. It is so good. It, it's like a KSG. It like fires slugs. So be sure that you're aiming down sight. So if you want to put like an ELO scope or just some sort of optical attachment on there, that'll be all good. But the KRM, you really need to get really close to people to actually hit your shots. So, after we've got the one shot one kills out of the way, your first challenge is Ardent. And that is to get 10 revenge medals by killing the player with your shotgun. So that's literally, that's going to come naturally. Just play around with it while you, and you'll get that while you're doing the other challenges like Burnt. Which is get 50 kills without any attachments. And attachments actually include the... Um, clan tag or the kill counter on your weapon that's actually a glitch and we hope they sort that soon but if you're getting kills it's not counting try taking your clan tag or your weapon kill counter off that will help you a ton the next one is bliss and this is getting 50 kills with an optic and five attachments equipped so with both i say either do the red dot sight or the ELO scope, they're all good. And then do rapid fire, long barrel, fast mags, extended mags, and laser sight. Or you can do quick draw on the Argus if you prefer. Um, literally, you can do any cat, um, any attachment combination. Just make sure it works and you're getting in people's faces. And the three you will need is a mag attachment, either extended mags or fast mags, long barrel, and rapid fire. 100% you need those just so you can stay alive and pick up those kills. So basically we're going back to those original classes to get the next one which is Chameleon. And that is get five kills without dying five times, all kills coming from the shotgun that you're using. This is actually really difficult um, with some of the other shotguns, but with these two it's not as much, you know, just play on the small maps, get in everyone's stuff, just, you know, spawn kill them do what you need to do and you will just get that through playing and then we've got battle which is get two rapid kills five times which is really just play objective game modes you know that is really good for doing this because you always know where the enemies are they're going to be grouped together so you can just take them all out so that has been the two lever pump action shotguns in call of duty black ops 3 gold we're now going to move on to the two semi and fully automatic shotguns so the first one you unlock up out of these is the brekkie and i repeat this is not a good gun you will go ballistic trying to get this in gold it is difficult and it's just not easy at all so basically with both of them you need to get both of them including the haymaker 12 which is a little bit better and a little bit easier because it's fully automatic and you can just hold it down you need to get headshots Will be the bane of your entire Black Ops 3 life. Headshots is the most difficult thing we try and do. Sometimes you can be popping heads, other times you just won't get the headshots that you need. But never fear, you want to do the same sort of thing again. You want long barrel, you want rapid fire, and you want extended mags on each of them. And you want, and for some reason with the brekkie, laser sight didn't actually help me that much but on the haymaker laser sight really helped tighten that hip fire spread and just make all those rounds go into your enemy's forehead so after you've got 100 shots with each the haymaker and the brekkie you move on to the next set of camo challenges which is practically the same as um 
the other two. So that's the same 50 kills without attachments, 50 kills with attachments, the revenge medals, the kills without dying, and the rapid kills. And I really suggest with these, when you go no attachments, um, the perks you really want to be using is just like Ghost or Sixth Sense with Afterburner, and then Hardwired with Fast Hands is really good, and then Blast Suppressor with Gung Ho, just so that's with all the classes, just so you can get in there in the enemy's face and um, do as much as you can. Also, maybe instead of Blast Suppressor or Gung Ho, you can put Tactical Mask on there, so it can really keep your mobility up, which can also help surprise the enemy if they think they've stunned you. Um, the attachments to use when you're doing your attachment stuff is practically just rapid fire long barrel, extended mag, laser sight and maybe fast mags as well because of actually with the haymaker when you're dropping all your rounds down range you really need to reload and you can just do that really quick so you can pair both um, extended mag and fast mags to get maximum efficiency. So I've rushed, rushed through, why can I not speak, I've rushed through the car setups, everything you need to get shotguns diamond. So I hope you guys have loved this video. Literally, it's taken ages, and it will take you ages because they are one of the hardest to get gold purely because of the range factor, and you just get shut down by things like VMPs and gorgons. You will rage, you will scream when you can't hit people. It is annoying, but they look brilliant after you've done it. So yeah. I hope you guys have enjoyed and I hope this has helped you. This has been Swift. See you on another video. Bye. Made the entire city be proud. Hardly a challenge. <laughs> one shot, one kill. Won't even hear it coming. <laughs>